we are on in the uh, Gypsy 20 gram. Beautiful. Right in the car. Get out of town, mate. So this morning, guys, we are fishing the beautiful Botany Bay off the beach here. Um, it is winter. So we're going to be jigging primarily. Um, we're going to see what we can get. Maybe some flathead, flounder, tailor, salmon. And we're going to be using jigs, bouncing off the bottom, mid water and whatnot. And we'll see how we go. So this morning guys, we are in the overcast Botany Bay, middle of winter, absolutely freezing. Got the uh, face buff on, got all the outfit, warmed up to a degree. And uh, we are going to be targeting uh, your typical winter species on jigs. So the outfit I'm using today is a nice PE2 rod. This one's a 9.6. I've got a uh, Shimano. Twin Power Compact 5000 XG. We've got a 20 pound main light and I've got 14 pound liter fluorocarbon liter. Here, here we have guys, the jig I'm using this morning, fixed with a uh, barrel saw, size four. It is the uh, Nomad Buffalo. It's the slowest sinking uh, jig that they make. Uh, perfect for these applications here. Uh, off the beach, we're going to be bouncing the bottom uh, for flathead, uh, flounder, jewfish, and then we can go up to sort of midwater and try to target those tailor and uh, salmon. So here we've got these stripy glow, we've got the BKK hooks, nice flash here, straight out the box, ready to go. As you can see, guys, at the bottom, at the back, I should say, silver, the front, got the nice glow here. Overcast conditions, hopefully that should pop. It's center balance. We've got the dome at the bottom right there. I'm not sure if you can see that there. We've got the dome, center balance. So once you lift it up, it's gonna nice, nicely flutter to the bottom and we can target uh, those flatheads off the bottom. And we can also bring it up mid water and chase those pelagics. Um, so that's the jig I'm using today. Color of choice, I'm using this silver glow. Why? there's a lot of white, white bait around in the area so I'm sort of matching the hatch sort of perfect size for them and we can cover a lot more ground than the traditional uh, soft plastic here guys because uh, 40 grams of weight casting out 80 meters or so and it should be cover a lot more distance a lot more range and hopefully get in contact with a lot more fish than your traditional soft plastic off the bank casting 20 meters and walking as much as you can here we can stay static for a lot longer uh time maybe 45 minutes an hour and we can cast and fan our cast and we won't even hit the same spot twice so give it a go guys uh we're gonna start with the uh slower sinking we are sort of uh, coming on the incoming tide now so the current should increase and then i'll sort of go with the mid fall which is the gypsy series very similar just less of a uh less of a profile you can find those in the Nomad website or any of your local retailers there guys. Straight out the box, ready to go. Don't have to change nothing. Give them a go. Very, very good. Alright, let's go. First cast magic. The wind's behind us. It's uh, a lot higher than predicted the wind. We are quite foggy in the morning. And let's see if we can get something in this cold winter's morning with the Nomad jigs. So we've got the Buffalo on. It's the slowest jig they have. We'll tighten up the slack and it should flutter nice and slow. You'll be able to feel when it reaches bottom, 
Um, we are about three to four meters deep here at the bottom there. Just like a soft plastic, guys. Don't overcomplicate it. Bounce the bottom, bounce off the bottom. But a four. Bounce, bounce, couple of jigs. Let's see if we can get one of these fish to wake up with us. So, the gear I'm running today is the Shimano Twin Power Compact 5000 XG. Just a nice jigging rod. If you don't have a jigging rod, use anything that's a little bit softer in the tip um, rather than a really uh, a stiff rod. So you can work the lure and it makes it much more easy on the angler. 14 pound leader and uh, I've tied that off with the FG knot. I've got a size four barrel, um, size four barrel swivel. In terms of color, whatever the fish are going for, in terms of the, uh, the bait you have in your area, use the, uh, that sort of uh, color range. So use the yellows, the oranges, when there's a lot of prawns and calamari and whatnot and squid around. And if there's a lot of white bait around, use your pinks. Your, you know, your, your stripy glows, silvers, pinks, and uh, and your pilchards in color. You can get them all from the uh, Nomad range. They have a wide selection of uh, colors, you know, from your naturals in uh, your bait fish and your, um, and your crustaceans as well. So far, nothing guys, absolutely nothing. We'll give it a cover cast. We'll keep going. Winter fishing can be quite tough, but uh, we'll persevere, we'll keep going guys. So guys, here's a bit of the Nomad range in the 40 gram jigs. Here we have the uh, the Buffalo, which is the slowest, the Gypsy and the 40 gram, which is the mid fork and the ridge back here. This one's got an interesting uh, drop and retrieve and a flutter. So it's sort of a mid pace, fast pace jigging. Um, so once you jig it up, it's, got, it's gonna work erratically like so. Um, it's gonna drop and flutter for a little bit and then slow and then a fast drop on the way down. The gypsy here which is the mid four work that sort of mid section to bottom uh, sort of mid, uh, medium pace current. This one the current's a bit slow when the fish are a bit timid and the slow pitch jig here as you can see right there in the belly it's uh, all the weights at the bar bottom that's sort of the rate the fall rate there. I'm gonna give the 20 gram a go see if they're sort of interested in a smaller profile in the mid four so we should get a very similar four right there so it might be a little bit faster just because of the weight but this one will drop a little bit quicker um, for the uh, 20 gram size so the current's picking up but the fish are a bit timid today so we're going to give this little guy a go and we should uh, be able to get onto something so how i cinch these guys off split ring pliers here grab the split ring onto a size four barrel swivel Put it in there. Work it around. And there she goes right there. I generally like to use the smallest the, um, the split ring will allow me. So what I mean by that, the, the opening right there in the uh, swivel has to have enough room for it to freely move around the, uh, the split ring. Um, if it's too small, it will kink on there, and potentially in a big fish, that will just snap open. So, you need a bit of play in there. We are on, in the uh, Gypsy 20 gram. Beautiful. That was just on the retrieve above this bank. Right in the current. A little salmon. Can't really tell. But it's hanging tight in this current. 
people playing out here. Yeah, guys, he missed the uh, he missed the bait, so it's on the side of him. So we give him a little one hook there. Perfect. Beautiful. Just had a crazy hit right in front here, guys. Didn't set the hook. He got me by surprise. Really aggressive take. Just bouncing off the bottom and dropped him very quickly. Oh, some white bait in the area, so I'm gonna keep peppering this area. Really disappointing. Just a normal griff at the moment, guys, as you would any other rod, any other soft plastics rod. We'll give her a cast and we'll see how we go. What's once this hit the water, guys, close the veil, pick up the slack so you can feel what, what your lure is doing. Sometimes you'll get hits on the drop, so it's very important to close the veil. And also, let's, you can sort of feel, once you close the veil, you can feel when the lure hits the, uh, the bottom of the water. We've hit the bottom. We're going to give it a couple of hops now, guys. and stop. You can bury it up. You can do more hops, more jigging, send out a distress signal, or just a couple of slow hops, depending on what the, uh, the fish are doing and how active they are. And stop. Couple hops. Stop. Two hops. Now we'll let it fall. You can also jig by placing the end of your rod on top on the bottom of your elbow and we can work the lure like that. Let it sink. So just this method here. That works great when you're using sort of a, a lighter rod. If you're using a heavier rod for different shore jigging applications, you can go underneath your armpit like this, guys. For, for this application right now, guys, I, I do prefer underneath the elbow or just sort of, if you're sort of micro jigging, as you would a soft plastic, guys. Couple of uh, aggressive jigging right now. Send out distress signals. And now some slow hops off the bottom. Got a bit of sun now, guys. It's warming us up. Water's still looking pretty good in terms of quality. In the last couple of days we had a bit of rain. I'm still on that 20 gram uh, Nomad Gypsy jig. We're just working nice and slow. Bashing off the bottom. Let's see if we can get a flathead. Wrong guy. Hopefully it's a nice flatty. Feels like a nice flatty. Hey, hey, hey. Feels like a really nice side Hey, hey.
very nice lady. Get out of town. Get out of town, mate. Oh, I got this guy on the 50 meter retrieve. So I had about 50 meters of line out and um, I wouldn't have had that with, you know, um, six pound gear. I wouldn't have cast that far, so I wouldn't have got this guy. So you cover a lot more ground and you get a nice results like this. Okay, guys, let's have a look. On the nose, all the way down. A nice 60 centimeters, how good's that? On the lie detector, really good flatted. So good. So that's it guys, as you can see, it turned out to be a beautiful morning. Sun's out, wind sort of tapered off. Have you got some tips out of that shore jigging session off the beach? If you do want to grab some Nomad jigs, I'll leave a uh, link in the description box below. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for the support. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and share with your mates. Until next time guys, thank you so much for watching and tight lines. Cheers.